and welcome back to the G Suite Show. Today we're going to be sitting down and talking with Lauren Gallegos. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Lauren manages our Google Cloud community and we're going to learn a little bit more about what she does and why it's important for you. So, Lauren, why does Google Cloud Connect exist and why should our customers know about it? Yeah, well, the main reason we came up with Google Cloud Connect was to bring together, connect, and support our large community of Google Cloud users. So whether it's through you know talking to different Googlers about the newest features coming out or talking to other Google admins as well to see workarounds that they can implement, there's just so many reasons why our customers should be using Google Cloud Connect as a resource. So tell me, who's producing the content for GCC? Yeah, it's a great mixture between people like myself, community managers, um, also Googlers that are experts in their fields, and then even power users as well. Um, one of my favorite parts about the GCC is that there are a ton of different blog series that we put out. So it's everything from launch announcements to change management and even security as well. Very nice. I know that change management is a really hot topic. I'm actually creating a, a training session on it for one of my internal teams. So are you saying that even I could contribute and uh, submit content for this? Yeah. I mean, right now in our change management blog, we have a ton of great stuff in there. Everything from the neuroscience of change, also to things like how to get your employees to actually adopt G Suite. But the more the merrier. That's how we feel about content in the GCC. <laughs> So as a community manager, what would you say is the most important part of the GCC? I would say feature ideas. And why is that? Feature ideas are the first of their kind. Um, you know, for years we've been hearing from customers, I want an easy way to submit my ideas to you guys about how to make the product better. And that's exactly what feature ideas does. Um, it allows you to submit, vote, and even search on feature ideas that we eventually pass over to the product team. And can you tell us a little bit more about one of your favorite feature ideas? Yeah, I mean, that's a hard one. There's been so many great ones over the years. If I, if I had to pick just one, though, it would probably be uh, the ability to seamlessly integrate your charts from Sheets over into Google Slides. So the reason for that is um, it's actually a product now, and it's something that we can do, and it's something that I use every day. So I love the success stories when it comes to feature ideas. So I'm all about testing out our new products, or over here at Google we call it dog fooding. Mm -hmm. How can someone outside the company get involved with one of our early adopter programs? Yeah, our early adopter program is one of the newest features to the GCC and one of the most popular. It gives customers the ability to test out some of our newest products like AppMaker and also Team Drives before it's really out to the public. So on the GCC, people can go in, they can sign up and apply to be one of the members that gets access to it earlier. I've attended a few of our meetups before, and it's so great to see the customers and partners really getting together. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Yeah, when we created the meetups, we really wanted to be an extension of the community and bring people together within their actual community. Um, and so when we're putting them on, we bring you product roadmaps, we get experts in from our product team and also even our engineering team to really tell you what's going on in the business and get you to connect to people that are around you every day. Thank you so much for your time, Lauren. We really appreciate you coming to talk to us about the Google Cloud Connect community. Thank you. This is great. Yeah, and so we'll put a link in below for you guys to go and check it out. But you can also search Google for Google Cloud Connect. Cheers. Cheers. See you next time. Bye. In a previous episode, we went over the basics of Google Keep. But since then, a whole slew of new features have been added. After we discuss each one, we'll provide a link for you to learn more right at the bottom of the screen. Now, Google Keep is available at keep.google.com and as a mobile app on both Android and iOS.